I wonder if you could sell Ambrosia to Idri. Surely not. I mean, I know you can resurrect him with it because I had him join my household in this game, actually. But can you resurrect him just by feeding him Ambrosia? I <laughs> like trying to break the game. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Super Sim series. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to complete all the aspirations, get max level in every career, max all of the skills, earn every degree, and do everything you can do for a single sim. Now, Carla is just working on her schoolwork as we have another university degree to finish. And we have redone the kids' room. This used to be the nursery, but now we're going to use this as the twins' room when they become teenagers. So their birthday is in a couple of days. And I did not want to have the old nursery with all of the toys and everything that was just a little bit too t childish for them. So I redid it in green and pink, which are their colors. And then we also have the bathroom in here, which, you know, the lighting is not that great because unfortunately it's still a haunted house. And let's see if we can get someone to get in here and use the bathroom. So yeah, the butler came in here to wash her hands and now the lighting is just a little bit better. So I love this tile from Jungle Adventure. Unfortunately, they did not give us any matching floor tile. And so this is the one that I went with. It also came from Jungle Adventure. And even though it does not match the wall, it does match the theme because it is a little bit, well, more blue and pink, but at least the rug makes up for it. Oh, there's an insect infestation. So we should try and go handle that and see if it counts as a maintenance event. Hello, Carla is here to try to solve the insect infestation. So where is it? Well, we could stomp the bugs, but I guess we're going to just deploy the fumigation device because Carla has so much money, it doesn't even matter. I love how you can actually hear the roaches. It's disgusting. Okay, that counted as a maintenance event. All right, now we need to handle an emergency event, which is completely different. Meanwhile, we have moved someone into our other unit. So if we do an inspection pass here, then we should be doing good. Okay, it counts if you just do inspection on one of the objects like a stove or a refrigerator. I wonder if you just have to do that at three different objects or even same objects inside of one of the rentals. Okay, yeah, I just have to inspect one or two objects and maybe even the same object. As long as you hit do inspection and maintenance, you don't even have to let the secondary action finish. I don't know what that is. It looks like she's upgrading it, but she's not really. I think what it does is it keeps the item from becoming worn out. But I've not had very much issues with things becoming worn out in my game. It seems like that's actually hard to trigger for whatever reason. Okay, now we need to handle emergency. I have two units occupied by tenants. I do. Uh, is that bugged? Well, if I travel to the unit, maybe it'll recognize it as being occupied. Okay, yeah, that fixed it. All right, I'm not going to actually do anything here. We're just going to go home. Okay, now that we're done with our homework and our term paper and our presentation, it's time to do the Reaper quests. So we need to wait for the Ambrosia Society newsletter, which we expedited the mail, and then we need to flirt or socialize with the Grim Reaper. Now, I'm not going to have Carla flirt with Grim. I mean, she could, but... To be honest, she's being loyal to Hayden for now, especially since she has kids that are, you know, kids and not teenagers or adults yet. So we're not going to flirt. Okay, here comes our mail and oh, really Grim? 
see, this is why I don't like those trends. Come on, Sims. You have to make it not work on NPCs like Grim and Patchy. It just ruins their outfit. Special NPCs should not show up in trends. All right, well, we'll go say hi. Love your outfit, Grim. Not really. Okay. Now we need to read the newsletter, but first we'll get the mail. And we'll send Grim home. Because you look terrible. <laughs> What's with the face? Interesting. Okay, this week the death flower should be just within reach. While you're waiting for it to grow, make sure you continue working on your cooking and gourmet cooking skills. They will come in handy when you're eventually ready to cook ambrosia. So cook a recipe while level 7 or higher. We always have to cook something. Now we need to cook a gourmet recipe. Maybe after all this research is done, we can catch a movie or something. Keep working on your aspiration to gain satisfaction points. Oh, that's why we have to do the aspirational goals. I was wondering why it kept asking us to complete aspirational steps because I didn't really see a point in that. But yes, we need a potion of youth. And Carla has a lot of aspirational points or satisfaction points. So she doesn't really need to do that. Okay, now we need to research ambrosia on our phone, tablet, or computer and talk to three plants. And why is flirting with death reset? That's not good. Well, hopefully we got the points. Or do we have to... It says it's complete, but yet it's still showing up. Well, I'm going to hopefully not have a problem with that. We got the metallic freezer bony. The life and death tattoo. An inspired potion. The portrait of a lady Mimsy Alcorn Shallow in the garden. Okay, supposedly we can only get one more item. But we're going to get a lot of points. That one item costs 475 points. Okay, so we need to talk to three plants. I guess that'll be easy. Let's go ahead and harvest all of these. I mean, it doesn't really matter that we're not getting the collectibles that we need. But I'm hoping that we won't need to graft an orchid or anything like that. Because I'm going to have to go and buy one and grow one. Why can I not talk to any of these plants? Maybe it's say hello to my little friend? Talking to a plant is no longer what it used to be. It used to be talk to plant, and now it's say hello to my little friend. Babble about unbelievable friendship. And chat about wetting your pants? Or plants, okay. <laughs> I read it the way that it was supposed to be a play on words of. But no. <laughs> chat about wetting your plants. Okay, well, that seems to be fulfilling the goals. Okay, we're going to research Ambrosia on the computer because I cannot for the life of me find it on the phone. I have no idea what section they put it under. Oh yeah, Peter's off to work. Work hard. You need to get promoted. Oh, and we got our university acceptance letter for Peter. I'm not sure if we should have him go, because if the part-time job counts as getting to top of the career, then it doesn't really matter what he does. So I think I'm going to wait and see if the part-time job counts. And if it doesn't, then maybe I'll let him go to university, because that's the quickest way to get to the top level of a career, is to go to university and get to top level of the esports competitor career at university because it's just a club and that might also count and then go on to the actual career which is the tech guru career in the esports competitor branch or esports gamer branch obtain a death flower well i have one can i just take it out of my inventory and put it in my inventory like i did with 
the angelfish. Yes. Even taking it out of my inventory counts. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, I don't like the fact that this flirting with death is still there because it might bug my game or my account if I do it a second time. So I'm going to restart and hope that that goes away. Oh, I got a rainbow egg? That was not the one that I had before, I don't think. Okay, we have a water lake. Hopefully we got here in time. It happens this morning, but Carla was busy. She had to go to class first. So we'll just replace everything because that's easy. And that counts as an emergency event. So now we need a five-star rating, which we already have. We need to become good friends with a tenant. How about you? Besties friendly introduction, even though we're seemingly already almost friends. And then I'm going to need you to badmouth me because I don't want to have a lot of friends and a lot of reputation. Okay, now we need to fill our last vacancy in order to satisfy the next step of this aspiration. Okay, and after you do that, you, for some reason, have to change zones. So that is our five-star property owner complete. Now we need to resurrect a ghost by selling ambrosia. I wonder if you could sell ambrosia to Idri. Surely not. I mean, I know you can resurrect him with it because I had him join my household in this game, actually. But can you resurrect him just by feeding him ambrosia? <laughs> I like trying to break the game. Of course, we're going to have to wait for Gidri to appear and he appears later on in the evening. And unfortunately... It is the middle of the day, and even in the evening, I'm going to have to do my ghost hunter thing. So, yeah, we might not get a chance to do that then. Well, it looks like these people have a dog and a horse. Okay, so the ghosts sometimes don't get the presents because they interrupt you, and that's kind of annoying. But we'll complete this really quick and maybe go back and see if we can resurrect Ghidri or some other ghost. Come on, give him the present. You're not scared of ghosts. Okay, here's what you do. Start a yard sale, but only have the Ambrosia available. And have it on Disable Auto Stock. Then add a whole bunch of other things so that hopefully no one buys the Ambrosia right away. Although now that I'm thinking about it, this is my last Ambrosia. Whoops, uh, not yet. Yeah, not yet. We need to clear the table first. Okay, first I need to copy pasto my Ambrosia just in case someone else buys it. Plus I really don't wanna have to go back to the retail store right now. We'll copy pasto this a couple of times. Okay, then we stock the table to make sure we have two ambrosia. And then we put stuff in it so that other people will buy other things. And we stock the table again. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff on this table. Hopefully nobody buys the ambrosia. Meanwhile... Hayden is talking to Ghidri. Now I need him to be in the area at least. So maybe if I chat here and get him to come over with me, at least close enough to the table that I can try to convince him to buy the Ambrosia. Where are you going, Ghidri? Don't go anywhere. Okay, maybe he's close enough now. Come here, Ghidri. No, stop talking to that other lady. Convince Ghidri to buy the Ambrosia. 
Yes. Come to the table, Ghidri. Oh. Buy the ambrosia. I know you want to. Hopefully, I can convince him. Somebody else bought the ambrosia. Stop it. That is so annoying. Maybe I can convince him to buy the other one. Stop buying the ambrosia, people. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We had him buy it. Now he has to eat it. Hopefully, no one talks to him. Eat the ambrosia, Ghidri. Eat the ambrosia. Come on, I don't want to miss this. Carla, don't interrupt him. I know you got off the table. Gidri, no! No! <laughs> Stop talking to him! He needs to finish his ambrosia. No! Don't talk to me, Gidri. Go tend the table. Stop talking to Gidri. No one talks to him. Come on, Gidri. I know I resurrected you once. Let's see if I can resurrect you again. And I did, supposedly. Here we go. And he is now alive. Well, how are you doing, Ghidri? Can we ask him to join the household? Well, I don't know that we need to, but um, it is unfortunate that we no longer have a Ghidri. Maybe, however, whenever we do that, the game generates a new one, hopefully. Because I know I'm trying to break my game like that. All right, well, we don't need to do this anymore. Okay, now on to Renaissance Sim. This one should be easy. I just need to finish reading three books. Yeah, um, yeah, that's easier said than done. Okay, we finished all of the Renaissance Sim just by reading three books. So that was easy. Okay, we're switching back to the successful lineage because I want to be sure that that is selected for when Peter gets home. And we're having some kind of earthquake. Or volcanic bomb. Okay, Peter is level three of the barista career. And I did not have a child or grandchild reach the top of a career. Yeah, I kind of suspected that the part-time career would not count because it's only level three. I'm kind of suspicious and thinking that this needs to be a level 10 career and any career that doesn't go up to level 10 will not count. That's how it should be. So we're going to have him quit this career. Okay, he can't read the letter since he didn't get it from the mailbox. Well, that's annoying. I think if he just checks his application status that it'll be fine. Okay, yeah, he got accepted. So he can do distinguished degrees, biology, computer science, villainy, or art history, drama, and fine art. Maybe we'll have him do a distinguished computer science degree and be in the esports career. Now, technically, he doesn't have to graduate because we could just get to the top level e-competitor career and then go into the esports branch of the tech guru career. But I don't know. I'm not sure if it's quicker. Well, it does take three weeks to graduate from university. So let's just go ahead and attempt to graduate in three weeks and then see if we can finish the esports career any faster. What? What? How did that happen? Okay, Peter Eternal got assigned to the Sim Scuffle uh, team. Okay, so I know he got this. He's a level one esports competitor.
maybe it just took a while for it to actually register that he reached the top of the barista career. Well, um, Peter, you are enrolled in university and you don't even have to be. <laughs> okay, well, um, since it doesn't really matter whether or not he wins, I might occasionally send him to class and occasionally have him do his homework, but I don't think I'm going to focus on it because we're doing that with Carla. And yeah, I'm just not really invested in having two people do that at the same time. And maybe we'll just, you know, do it here and there. Okay, Carla, when do you go in? You have class in three hours and two hours. So at 9.30, you need to go in. All right, so that checked off the successful lineage. We still need to do super parent, which means Peter needs to age up in order to have three positive character value traits. And then for big happy family, we need to have Peter get married and have four children. Yeah, so he has to age up for both of those. And then these are all waiting on careers. And we finished the fortune category of the aspirations. And now we're on to knowledge. Oh, archaeology scholar is next. Did I just skip that one? Because I think the last one, okay, the last one I did was Renaissance Sam. And then Archaeology Scholar is going to require us to go on vacations to Selva Dorada. Yeah, we can't do this yet because we're in university and it won't give us a vacation. So we're going to postpone that. I mean, we could do it on the weekend. But the thing is that if I do it on the weekend, that I'm also missing the Finchwick Fair. So maybe we'll skip that one and do the nerd braid aspiration. So we need to repair or upgrade. I'm thinking these beds really need upgrades. Well, I won't have time to finish that, but, but we're waiting for our next class to start. Oh, Carla is being attacked by spiders. She should be able to dodge it though. Yeah, so she does, she dodged that. But now she needs to go to class. Oh, there's a tenant revolt. Yeah, Carla doesn't care. Auditing artificial intelligence builds the mischief skill? Why? Why is that the mischief skill? Peter got level three in the mischief skill while he was doing his homework and i didn't think anything about it until now i'm, I'm wondering what class was building mischief it's auditing artificial intelligence oh sims that is just really diabolical i am just trying to see why oh an applied network security is also the mischief skill why do we need the mischief skill to do programming I mean, the Oracle branch for the criminal career actually uses the mischief skill because you're hacking, but why is this particularly normal sounding class labeled as mischief? Applied network security. <laughs> you don't have to be mischievous to try and find vulnerabilities in a website. You can do that without being mischievous. Well, Carla is back. So now we should continue upgrading the bed. Okay, now we need a woodworking table. I guess we'll get rid of the candle making station. Okay, Hayden can be an administrator or a professor. I'm thinking he's more the professor type. Not that it really matters what your job is, Hayden, but you do a good job. Okay, we still want to achieve level 8 and 6 skills. Sure, why don't you do some more video gaming and painting? Whoops, I was supposed to play Sim Scuffle with the team, but I didn't have enough time. Oh well. 
like I said, it doesn't matter since we've already fulfilled that requirement with Carla. We're just going to do it a little bit before we get sent to the eSports meeting. Okay, it is the twins' birthday. So do we have a cake left in here anymore? No, we need a cake. Carla and Princess are supportive. Okay, sure. Yeah, and it just notified me it's their birthday. Okay, so I didn't do it too early. Hayden, what are you doing? I told you to get leftovers. I need him to actually eat something before he bakes a cake. And something must have interrupted everybody doing everything. Because Carla's just sitting there. And she's supposed to be working on her homework. Alright, well, that's interesting. Can you work on your homework? It's invisible. Okay, that's better. Oh no, Carla's paranormal investigation is going to be pretty soon. Well. Oh well. When we come back, we'll age up the girls. Okay, this is interesting. It's in an apartment building this time. Oh good, a candy jar. That was a creepy baby sound. That was really creepy. Maybe it's the doll that does that? Okay, if I go over to where the doll is... No, still nothing. Alright, well, there is stuff out here that I could give things to, or at least there was. Okay, there they are. The only problem is that these are technically off the lot, I think. So, I'm not sure if they will give me any items. Oh, that's definitely off the lot. Why did you have to go that way? You were over there where it might have been considered on the lot. Okay, let's see. What does Peter have to do for his thing? Play Sim Scuffle solo or research Sim Scuffle strategies? You know what? Peter... <laughs> You don't have to bother yourself. We're just not going to bother with this at all. No, no. We're just going to drop you out of university and then keep you home all the time. Okay, there we go. Peter is no longer in university. We really don't need to do that with him. And I just don't feel like doing it. We'll just keep him home, have him look after the things at home. And that actually benefits Carla, because if no one else is on the lot, she gets sent home from her classes sometimes. And I completely forgot last time to send her to Brightchester. So I don't want to take the chance that she gets sent home from university. Happy birthday, princess! Okay, so princess is going to be proper. She's going to drop out of high school. And then Norma is the one who is going to be the one who quits or actually gets expelled. So Princess just quits. I don't know what kind of trait she should have because it really doesn't matter, to be honest. I'm not going to give her lazy or any or slob or anything like that. Maybe we'll just give her like creative or something like that. Just that she doesn't want to finish school because she wants to do something like paint. Yeah, maybe we'll make her a painter, even though we're not going to work on that at all. Oh, wait, did she get low self-esteem? How? I mean, okay. I didn't really plan that. She was top-notch infant, top-notch toddler, and then somehow ended up with low self-esteem. Norma is neutral okay uh i've never had someone end up with low self-esteem neutral okay but normally it just tends to go up to high self-esteem without me even watching it peter didn't get anything all right well maybe i need to pay more attention to that <laughs> whoops <laughs> happy birthday norma 
Okay, Norma is adventurous. Maybe we'll make her, I don't want to make her a goofball because even though I want her to be sort of a goofball, I don't want her pranking my toilets autonomously. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll make her erratic. Sure, let's go with that. And then she can have some kind of adventurous aspiration, maybe the extreme sports enthusiast. Uh. And that is not at all how I pictured you two. Yeah, time for makeovers. Okay, so now that all that's done, here is Princess's everyday, her formal look, her athletic look, sleepwear, party look, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. Hmm. And then we have Norma, who has her everyday look, her formal wear, her athletic, sleep, party, swim, hot weather, and cold weather. So we're going to have Princess drop out of high school and then with Norma she's just going to get expelled. Unfortunately this makes Princess have a fear of disappointing her parents but that's just how it goes. I've also taken a look at the new expansion coming out, the Life and Death expansion. The second trailer just dropped today and it's interesting that we might be able to start over with a sim. Now this scares me a little bit and excites me a little bit because there are a couple of things that Carla did not get to do when she was younger. When she was a child, she did not win a game of marbles. So she's missing that milestone. I had a clone of her do it, but that really doesn't count. And I didn't want to start all over with her just for that one thing. And there might be more things in future expansions. So I don't want to have to repeat things in order to continue with Super Sim. So what this might allow us to do is to get reincarnated and go through the life stages again. And it looks like you keep your skills, but I'm not sure how much you keep. Do you keep all of your completed aspirations, all of the traits that you earned? That might be a good thing and it might be a bad thing because I can see this glitching so badly. So I am hesitant to try it with Carla when the expansion first comes out. I'm definitely going to have to start a different Let's Play to test this out because there are so many moving parts to The Sims that I just cannot imagine this going over well in the beginning. We'll have to report a lot of bugs and hopefully get them all fixed. So it brings me hope, though, that we might be able to solve things like that missing milestone and also the fact that Carla never dropped out of high school. Carla never graduated early and she never got expelled. Well, she might be able to do all of those things. Who knows? Another issue that I have been having that I did test is that if she drinks a trait retraining potion, she will not be able to get any more traits other than the three that she chooses. So once you have all of your self-discoveries, if you drink that potion, it doesn't reset your self-discoveries. It does get rid of the traits that you earned with self-discovery, but it does not allow you to get new self-discoveries, at least in my initial testing. I didn't test for very long, but I went through about two or three sim days without restarting the game that basically cleaned, uh, napped. I, I napped for three days straight and I did not get the lazy trait. When you don't have any self-discovery traits and you nap a lot, you almost always immediately get the lazy trait. So I use that as testing and I napped for three days straight. I did not get the lazy trait. No self-discovery pop-ups. So I might report that as a bug 
but I don't know if they will fix it. And to be honest, if we do reincarnation, I'm not sure if maybe that also would not reset the self-discovery traits. And then we have the fact that it looked like you could choose your parents, maybe? Because it says, be reborn as your great-grandkid. And I'm like, okay, so what if you don't want to be your great-grandkid? But it also said that you could join the land grabs household. So I'm not sure exactly how that will work, but it sounds like you can choose your parents. And if that's the case, are your traits at birth recalculated? Because that is going to be an issue as well and i don't know if the original birth traits that you earned will stay with you or not if they stay with you maybe you could be a multi occult because you could be born to alien parents and then born to werewolf parents and then born to mermaid parents and born to vampire parents and then born to spellcaster parents and if you've already been through one life stage when you were able to switch back and forth between the occults you would have already learned all the spells uh earned all the ability points and leveled up to max level so you wouldn't need access to your perk tree and the perk tree would not be bugged so it opens up a lot of possibilities here. I was late for class. Whoops. I did not see the fact that she needed to go already. It was 11 a.m. Okay, I did not ask the ranch hand to help me with the rocket ship, but apparently she decided to do it on her own. I was wondering why none of my other Sims were coming up here to help. I think I'm going to go with upgrading the rocket five times. I know my rocket science skill is already max and upgrading a rocket won't help, but I don't want to be stuck in outer space when I need to attend class or go to my paranormal investigation job. So when you're upgrading something on the rocket you can stop and go do something else and come back to it so that's going to be my strategy for that also peter's birthday is not for another two weeks it seems that now you are a teenager for three weeks in the sims i don't know should we just age him up early or should we wait until he's oh, actually supposed to age up? Because to be honest, we have to have a hundred kids. And that might take a long time. Not a hundred babies, but we need a hundred generations. And you actually need four kids per generation to get all of the achievements that I am aware of. There might be more that I'm not aware of. Hopefully there's not a crazy one like a thousand babies yeah that'll be a long time in the making if i find out that there is one like that we will definitely be just aging them up every single week so i don't think that we should speed through it and and focus on that just because it's just too much but what we might do is just every week age everyone up one age why does Hayden have a glimmer stone? Did he get that from the scare seeker lot trait? Oh no, I know why. He cooked mac and cheese. Whenever you interact with the cauldron, it gives you a glimmer stone. And there's the other Ghidri. Yep, the game just regenerates him. So you can resurrect him as many times as you want. You'll just get a bunch of clones of them. Oh no. I did not notice the small little infant over here in the corner trying to fall asleep. Poor baby. Someone left you on the kitchen floor. And that was easy pretty much. Okay, our paranormal investigator is at level 8. We will probably be well past 10 before October is over. So let me know in the comments if I should keep doing those in order to get the collectibles or should we move on to something else? 
Oh, we're getting some kind of disaster. And what is going on? Volcanic bombs. Okay, do we have any fires? Looks like no. No fires. Oh, and I actually don't have to do the grafting, which is nice because that was pretty much optional. What? What's going on here? Oh, she must have been fixing the refrigerator. Um. Hey, yeah. That was not good. Well, I do not need another butler or ghost wandering these halls. Plus, I don't want everybody to be sad, even though they're probably going to be sad even if I resurrect her. All right, Grim, where are you? Is my class starting soon? Class is at 9.30. Oh, there you are, Grim. Grim, I give you flower. Okay, we saved a sim from death, but I don't think that was a milestone. I thought it was, but no, you yourself have to be saved from death. So I don't really get a milestone for that, but I just don't want to get a different butler. Oh, and Norma got sent home from school because basically there was a death on the lot. Yeah. That's another thing that I have to be careful of. If there's a death on the lot, no one can go anywhere. What? Now she wants to live with me because I saved her. I'm going to say yes, but no. I'm just going to say I'm not, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't care if there is a bad sentiment between me and my butler. That's fine. I saved you from death. <laughs> That's all. You're not living with me. Well, and now you're taking a bath. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at Carla's classes. She's going to be at class until 10.55. And I have enable follow messages on, but it doesn't work. Okay, so I didn't get to follow her. Basically, what happened was someone was dying when it was time for her to go to school. And because of that, I didn't get the option to follow her. And because I didn't follow her, I'm not going to be able to help her get expelled. So we need to go to school when we can follow her. And that means that I can't just send her to school right now by clicking this go to school button. Maybe, however, if I just travel to the high school right now, she'll get in trouble. Okay, she's actually at high school. And now if I get in trouble with the principal. Yep, I'm being caught by school staff. I showed up without actually being here, which is kind of stupid, but I guess it's 10 a.m. Okay, now she's going to give me detention. And I'm basically going to skip school. Or no, it just said I got caught. And I showed up. Okay, it killed my performance. My performance is terrible. So I still have a little ways until Carla comes home. Maybe I can get caught doing things that are mischievous and get even more trouble. I can't click on anything in here, though. Oh, Carla has a class at 11. Okay, well, we're going to have to go home for now. Okay, with only one time getting caught, I basically reduced my performance to poor. So hopefully I will be downgraded to a C student and then maybe get a D and then an F and then expel. I'm not sure if that's the quickest way to do it, but I can't get in trouble unless I can go to class and stay at class for a while. This is a pretty busy household now that I have five Sims that are not children and no one really needs to go to school. So it's going to be kind of crowded. Oh no, a sewage leak. Maybe we should just sell that residential rental. I mean, I don't want to do anything else with it, and I don't think we need to. 
Okay, we do not have any more residential rentals. I mean, it might be a good idea to eventually own the world, but to be honest, um, not right now. Well, I guess we're here in Willow Creek. It looks like Oakenstead. I don't remember. I don't even know if I'm saying the name of that lot correctly. Oh. Did someone pass away here? Interesting. We're going to go ahead and release this spirit because I don't know you. At first, I thought that that was the person who had called me for the exorcism. I thought, hey, am I too late? Is he already dead? Why did I go to Vlad's house? <laughs> I'm surprised Vlad is still around. Carla doesn't like him very much. Okay, this should be the last upgrade. Come on, Carla. Finish it. There we go. Now we need to fix or upgrade five objects. Well, why don't we just continue with this one? Because it's easier since we don't have to buy upgrade parts. And then we can just have a fully upgraded rocket ship. Well, we're getting some kind of earthquake. Or maybe a volcanic bomb. Yay, more collectibles. Just no fires. Okay, Carla goes to class and she has an exam. And then what does she do later on? She has another exam at 11. That's cutting it close. So here we are at the high school before it starts. And maybe we can get caught doing something. Like pranking the whiteboard. There's not that many people here yet. I wonder what time class starts. Maybe it's not until 9 a.m. I want someone to catch me, though. It looks like no one is going to catch me. Okay, stop doing that. She's not going to catch you. Maybe if I talk to someone... No, don't go upstairs. Don't go upstairs! Who is upstairs? Okay. No one. Maybe she was going downstairs? Yeah, she was going downstairs. Well, the principal is right there. And the teacher's right there. And the custodian's right there. Oh, and what happened to you? She's a student. And something happened to her outfit. Because I do not have any CC in this game. And I never have. So why is she naked? All right, well, <laughs> we're going to... S Maybe we should yell at the teacher. Okay, she's giving me detention. If I don't show up for detention, that is going to make my grades suffer and probably get me in trouble. Okay, can I prank the whiteboard with the classroom two teacher standing right there? Maybe that will help. I've already been assigned detention. I think... Carla's next class is at 11 a.m. Why are you sitting Clementine, down? Okay, you're just getting worse. caught. Okay, that's fine. I wanted you to get caught. And she's assigning me detention again. Okay. One wrong move from getting expelled. Let's try pranking the whiteboard again. <laughs> right next to the teacher. <laughs> no one would actually do this. Okay, so we got caught again. Come on, it said I'm one wrong move from getting expelled. Can I get expelled again? Oh, I'm going to have to go home. Okay, I'm pushing it dangerously close. I can't have Carla miss her exam. Yeah, she has one at 4 a.m. Okay, so she should be fine now. And maybe she'll get a C and then I'll have to go all the way down to a D or an F to get expelled. I don't know. Hi, Megan. You look cool. Really? <laughs> maybe I can have a friend. She looks very angry, though. That's probably from the lot traits. Oh, Norma has a crush on Megan? Okay, well, maybe we should ask her to prom, but we're not going to prom. What? Hey, Hayden, it's me, ha. Do you want to go out on a date? No. 
Hayden is married, even though that can't last forever, I was considering having Hayden actually be the one that dies because Carla has to be widowed, but we might divorce him. He might die. I don't know. But no thanks. He's not going out right now. He's loyal. We barely know her. I'm not sure why those calls are so random out of the blue. I guess it was to insert some spontaneity in The Sims, but I don't know. They seem poorly done. Okay, it looks like Norma's grades have finally slipped. She's a C student. And she has fears. Great. Well, we can get rid of the fears. She doesn't need to be afraid of it. Norma, you don't need a fear of failing classes because you're not going to fail. You're going to be expelled. Okay. Megan, our crush, wants to go with us to the prom. Um, We'll say, of course, but we're kind of not going to prom. So hopefully she doesn't get mad at us. And we got our final grades. Then we sign up for our final courses for the culinary arts degree. Okay, it kind of seems strange that Megan has asked us to prom as a date, not as a friend, as a date. And we have no romance with each other, so maybe we should flirt a little bit. Okay, I already got the that sim is irresistible Norma has a crush on Megan, right? I could have sworn I already had that. Yes, so now she has two crushes? How is that possible? Okay, we at least have a little bit of romance now. That's fine for right now. Okay, maybe Norma has a crush on Megan because she has green hair. And Norma's into green. Well, you either need to go to bed or drink a potion. I guess you're going to bed. It doesn't matter, though, because we're about to go with Carla to her paranormal investigation thing. I wonder how many different dolls and items there are. I've done the paranormal investigation thing a bunch of times, and I keep getting different swatches. Okay, where is this? Um, yeah, I don't play in the newer worlds that often. And this is, oh yeah, it has to be the love struck world. I forget the name. Anyway, we're here trying to clear out all of the haunts from these two. Okay, Manuel and Yolik, or Yolik. All right, you guys, quit running around and quit reacting to the ghosts. Carla stole their TV. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, it's so annoying to try and interact with the ghosts that are inside. Even the ones outside. Come on. She took a sip of that one. Oh, well. I might have to just drink that one. When someone's cowering from it, you can't offer it a gift. I don't know why. It's just driving me nuts. Stop getting scared. All right. I need one more ghost. All right. That's it. Okay. We're just working on our homework and our presentation and our term paper for the next term. Sometimes I work on it at the Fitchwick Fair, but other times I do it at home beforehand. Okay, today is the Finchwick Pie and Garden Competition. And I figured out why I almost have the pie ribbons done. It's because the pie competitions are on the garden competition days and the oversized crop competition days. So you actually have two chances to complete that set of ribbons. And the only one I need is the first place ribbon. So I'm making a cow plant essence pie and I'm going to try to maybe bribe the judge. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to enter the garden competition though. Okay, the cow plant essence pie is going into one of these selling tables because the selling table is actually a refrigerator and it's portable. 
I want it to be as fresh as possible for the fair. Okay, we are level 10 of the Paranormal Investigator career. So let me know again in the comments, should we continue this career just for the month of October because we need to get the collectibles? Or should we just call it quits and get a different career for now? And also let me know what we should do about aging the kids up. I think that maybe one week per life stage is fine unless of course it's one of the kids life stages in that case we might do baby infant toddler in one week child for one week and then teenager for one week or we could just drag it out and have everyone have a birthday when they're supposed to have their birthdays I mean I don't think we'll do a hundred episodes of Super Sim, but you never know. We might. Okay, so the Finchwick Fair has started. And we're going to submit our pie and wait for the mayor. Oh, and he's coming to talk to us and give us a Finchwick favor? Okay, he is, but he just took forever to get over here. Okay, he's my fairing friend. He Okay, he is grading my pie immediately. It may be too late to bribe him. Okay, we'll try to bribe the judge. I don't know if we should, but she's very confident. Please tell me she succeeds. Okay, yeah, she's a celebrity. She's very confident. Um, yeah, he'll keep that in mind when telling the scores. And he's also my best friend. Um... What happened? What happened? I did not see. There's a puddle of water on the floor. Why? Why? Why do people always want to live with me? Yeah, that can only strengthen our friendship, but we're not living together. Nope. You are judging the fair competition and not having any negative sentiments with me. He gave me an egg. Oh, he gave me a whole bunch of other stuff, too. The only thing about the Finchwick Fair is that it limits the amount of festivals that you can attend in San Mishuno. Wait! Why is this pie normal? It's made by Carla. It shouldn't be normal. Well, it's a good thing I bribed the judge. I didn't know it was possible for her to make something normal. She has level 10 baking, and unfortunately, this turned out normal, because this is a level 10 item. Well, I guess bribing the judge was a good thing, because a normal pie is definitely not going to win. Why do I keep getting a whole bunch of positive reputation? People are becoming my friend. That's not good. Don't chat. Don't chat. Let's just ruin our reputation again. Okay, if I have learned anything from this competition, it doesn't matter what the other people submit. It only matters what you submit. So since I submitted a rare pie, I have a higher chance of winning. But since it's quality normal, it's not going to be a sure thing. Hopefully bribing the judge will do it. And if I get the first place pie competition, then I will never have to enter another pie competition again. And that will be the first category that has all four ribbons complete. Why am I getting good friends just from introducing myself? Why are you talking, Carla? Don't talk. Just do your homework. I hate having to be out like this. Okay, we got the first place pie competition. All right. So we got a midnight treat, which doesn't matter. I need a rainbow treat. I don't have rainbow treats yet. But anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.